Hey guys, welcome back with the QB Docs. Today I'm joined here with Dusty, and we're gonna give you guys a great exercise that you can use to strengthen the shoulder, strengthen the rotator cuff, but do it in a position that is demanding on the trunk and also uh, the hip, okay? So this exercise is just a shoulder press with a dumbbell, but we're trying to do some things very specifically whenever we do this to reinforce proper use of these of specific musculature in the shoulder group, all right? So, the first thing you want to do is with this setup, you want to make sure that you're in full hip extension, okay, proper hip extension. So my rib cage is down, I'm turning on my glutes, I'm pushing that big toe on my back foot into the ground and trying to reinforce this position because I never want to press from this position because we know that if we exercise in overextended positions, we're going to claim those positions whenever we throw. And if you're throwing overextended, you're throwing poorly, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is get set up the right way. So Dusty's front ankle, knee, and hip all in the same plane. His back, hip, knee, ankle all in the same plane with the rib cage down, all right? If you can't get in that position, you better go check out our videos on how to improve hip extension before you do this, okay? So the next point of emphasis is rib cage always has to stay down. So if I have some lat stiffness, I'm gonna to wanna to overextend, which is never good. Uh, so rib cage stays down while I'm pressing overhead. All right, number three is once Dusty gets this loaded, all right, so we're gonna load just like this, he's gonna have it in just a resting position, a passive position here, all the way down. Good. Okay, so he's all the way down. He's trying to keep his wrist, elbow, and shoulder all in the same plane. All right, and so whenever we press, he doesn't want to turn this arm out, which is really common, because that would be considered shoulder internal rotation. So what we're trying to do here is reinforce using these external rotators in an overhead position. Because lots of times, if, we, if we're pressing a lot, we start to lose this capability of pressing in this plane in which we have weakness of straightest anterior weakness of these external rotators, weakness of lower trap. All right, so we're trying to reinforce rotating that scapula up while we press. So rib cage down, my glutes are on, Dusty's trying to press the whole time with his wrist and the elbow in the same plane. He's not letting that elbow flare. That's another common compensation. He's trying to bring that shoulder blade down and forward while he keeps everything depressed. So keeping the upper trap off as well. Dusty would want to perform 10 to 12 repetitions of that two to three times a week to try and reinforce proper use of the, the whole shoulder girdle and not use upper trap and not use those pesky big internal rotators whenever he presses. Because that's going to make you a worse quarterback. If you like that video, please check out our other videos at the QB Docs on our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube or our website at theqbdocs.com.